It is no secret that Dragoon V2 is my favorite Beyblade of all time. There has not been a better designed Beyblade than Dragoon V2 out of any generation, and I will stand by that. 23 years later, it finally got its third remake. It might not be an official remake, but thank you to Benchblade, it has been remade into Beyblade X, and he stopped at nothing to get this recreation spot on. The first question you might ask is, okay, Benchblade made this a month ago. At that point, there wasn't a left spin Beyblade. How are you gonna launch this Beyblade? Well, there are two answers to that question, and I have to say, it's brilliant. Benchblade created his own left spin string launcher. He 3D printed this part right here, and I labeled it because this is now my left spin launcher. Comparing it to the original launcher, as you can see, the 3D print versus the Takeratomi gloss, they are identical, but he had to remake this. And we talked in DMs, and he's like, yeah, um, it's, it's coming along, but I just have to remake the entire left spin launcher because he was ahead of the game and made a left spin for Beyblade X before it existed. But I'm not going to stop there because this Beyblade gets even crazier. He told me, this is actually a dual spin Dragoon for Beyblade X. Are you kidding me? That is insane. He made a dual spin Beyblade. So we'll test that out for sure, but we need to get this out of the box. This Beyblade actually comes with two bits, surprisingly. And he's called these bits Magna Gear Grip. I believe these are two different designs that this is just kind of a rubber flat, so if you want to be a little more classic, but then that comes with the white Magna Gear Grip, which this actually has its own gimmick. If you know anything about Dragoon V2, of course you know the Magna means that this is a magnetic bit. This remake is insane that he left the Magna Core gimmick into this Beyblade. If we get out the real Dragoon V2, you can see that it is of course magnetic compared to the just straight up rubber flat there is no magnets in that one so you have two different variants for this beyblade along with two different spin directions this is insane i just can't wait to get this beyblade in the stadium working our way up the beyblade the ratchet that we have is reverse attack 40. So this is a 40 millimeter Beyblade ratchet for Beyblade X and this has a very similar design to the original blade base for V2. So definitely not skimping out on any of the designs. If you guys didn't see the Drigger V2 video, go check it out. It's pretty insane. His recreations are insanely detailed. And of course we have the Dragoon Victory 2 blade. Oh, this thing looks insane. And once again, just like Victory 2, this is actually a magnetic blade. That's insane that he was able to do magnet, stainless steel. Oh my gosh. And this thing is heavy. Very well made. Very nice. And like I said, this is actually dual spin, not just left spin. So... We're going to test that out for sure. And V2 has one of the most amount of stickers of practically any Beyblade of the plastic gen. So you get the Beyblade X and the original Bit Beast. Sick. This is actually to label the string launcher, but I just decided to do this because I didn't want to mix them up just right off the bat. And then we have all of the stickers. Dragoon Victory 2 RA40 MGG. This sounds like an artillery rifle. That's an insane name. Let's get this put together and get a weight for this Beyblade compared to the original V2. That surprisingly only took me about 10 to 12 minutes, but let's get a weight on this Beyblade now that we have it all stickered up. This thing looks insane. Okay, I'm gonna guess about 52 grams. 63.77. That's a heavy Beyblade. Comparing it to the original, which I think is about 24 grams, 30.38. So about two Dragoon V2s in this remake compared to the original. Comparing the V2 Drigger to the V2 Dragoon, the V2 Dragoon is actually heavier, and I presume that comes to all of the magnets in here, and this blade is probably just a lot heavier than you would expect. This Beyblade is absolutely 
stunning. Sadly, it doesn't have the blue extra fins painted, but it's stainless steel, and of course, stickers either won't stick to that, and uh, he doesn't want to have to paint everything specifically. So I'll let that slide. Seeing the stainless steel on there really does bring out the remake factor of this Beyblade, but this is amazing. I think it's about time. Let's get this in the stadium and check out that dual spin action along with testing the Magna Core in the Magna Core Stadium. We have both of the Dragoons in the same polarity for this test. Because you can't flip over the weight disc, of this remake, it only makes sense to have these both set up to being sucked down to the stadium. Start off by showing you guys how the original V2 acts in a MagnaCore stadium. It gets pushed around by these magnets, and that allows for a little bit of variation in the battles. Very cool, and as you can see, the Beyblade is getting sucked down to the stadium. You can flip over the original magnet weight disc, and it can be pushed around the stadium instead. Now let's put this Left Spin Dragoon V2 in the MagnaCore Stadium and see how it reacts. Wow, that is a heavy Beyblade, a lot heavier than the original. But as you see, it's also getting pushed around by those MagnaCore magnets. So it is magnetic, that is awesome. Obviously you're not gonna battle this Beyblade in this stadium, but for the gimmick's sake, it does exist. Let's jump over to the Beyblade X Stadium and get this thing going. Once again, we do have two different bits that we can use in this stadium. We're gonna start off with the Magna Gear Grip, and then we're gonna switch out for the Rubber Flat. It's just to see how they both compare. Let's get a test launch in here, starting out in left spin. This is my first time launching a left spin Beyblade in the X Stadium. Let's see how it goes. Ooh, the rubber flat, that is wicked. It is whipping around there. You can hear the wind come off of all of those different fins. That looks crazy. And that is sharp, of course, because it's a left spin bay. So all of those teeth are digging in. This is going to be a recoil menace. And let's switch it out for the unbranded right spin string launcher. As you can see, it locks in both ways. And now Dragoon V2 in right spin. Ooh. Okay, well, I'm going to be honest with you. I guess I just broke my uh, right spin um, string launcher. Trying this again with a new string launcher. Okay, it does stick a little bit, but it does work. So maybe we'll have to try it out with a ripcord launcher and see how that compares. By the way, Noozle3D.com, channel sponsor, 10% off a ring grip for your string launcher, code S-A-M-P-S-O-N. Thank you for sponsoring the channel, Noozle. Back to the video. <laughs> Getting the ripcord launcher out, let's see if that does any better. Oh gosh, that went so much better. So I guess this, the ripcord launcher is definitely the way to go for the right spin at least. And that is a lot less sharp picking up. Before we do any battles, let's switch out the bits for the X variant of just a rubber flat. And let's see how that goes in the original left spin. Okay, so about the same. Still aggressive, that's for sure, because it is a rubber flat, but not as bad. I definitely think this will be better when we get a right spin and a left spin winder launcher, but in the future, we will have to check that out. Now let's go with the winder low flat. Let's see in right spin. Ooh. That is whipping around there. It's so quiet because of the rubber bit on that extreme line. I was, wasn't was expecting that sound, but definitely a lot better on the ears. Of course, we have to go with Dronzer versus Dragoon for the first battle. It is only fitting. Dronzer S, Dragoon V2, both left spin Dragoon, right spin Dronzer. We'll start out with Dronzer S. Okay, the lightest Beyblade versus one of the heaviest. Dronzer is getting pegged around. Oh my gosh. But I did just hear it hit the magnet. Okay, it lost, but um, I didn't rip it super hard. 
I did hear it hitting the magnet part of the blade and it's quiet, so that's funny. I don't wanna break my launcher again, so I'm not launching it super hard. That one was a little better. Ooh, the recoil just KO'd itself. Okay, so maybe the recoil and left spin is just a, a little bit too much. Let's throw it into right spin and see how it does. Bronzer X. I, it, oh, that's what happened. It magnetized and picked up the other bit. I was like, what the heck? How did that get in the stadium? That's funny. Let's try this again. Both in right spin. Obviously the rubber flat and the recoil blades isn't the best for battle. Like, it doesn't even look like it can beat Dronzer S, so that's not super good, but let's, let's give it another fair chance. That was a snipe. That was totally unfair and it's probably still gonna lose. Yeah, I don't know. Let's just uh, switch up the bits here. Let's put Dronzer on this rubber flat and Dragoon V2 on plastic taper and see if that does any difference. Oh wow, that is catching a lot more. Oh yeah, that rubber flat is just not... What was I saying? Okay, this Beyblade is a mystery. I'm gonna need so much testing to figure out what's going on with this Dragoon V2 Beyblade, how to maximize it. Overall, this Beyblade is insane. It looks so good, and it is a menace in the stadium. And with a little bit of testing and I think a few different parts, this blade could be deadly. As you saw, the recoil was actually insane and there wasn't much stopping it besides itself. Thank you, Benchblade, for making this recreation. This is an amazing version of my favorite Beyblade. Click this playlist if you wanna see more Beyblade content. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys. Peace.